Basalt's Ben has made a return today as he's taking on Tanner, the blue belt and former wrestler. He also looks extremely stylish because he's wearing a rash guard from xmarshall.com. If you want to look great like Ben does, make sure to check out my link in the description below. Most people are generally pretty crazy when they want to try and wrestle with the much better wrestler, but Ben is a crazy man all the time, so it should be no surprise to any of us that he's wrapping Tanner up and he's trying to grab the neck. All at the same time, the cameraman finally figures out what the light setting should be set at and now we're ready to continue with the role. Ben is looking to pummel against Tanner here and he wants to have a much better tie so he can set up his own takedowns. Unfortunately for Ben however, the only takedown he goes for is the fireman's carry which has proven to be not that great in jujitsu. Tanner is able to finally get Ben down to the mat with a nice throw by, then he takes his back almost immediately. Now Ben is used to having men on his back and he wants to make sure that he can keep the hooks out. Now it would not be a Ben roll if he didn't put himself in a crucifix somehow. He grabs the leg, he rolls himself over forwards, and then Tanner's able to get the crucifix, and he decides he's going to start rotating towards the neck. Ben basically gives Tanner the best submission choice he can by going for the head and arm choke and leaving his arms fully exposed. Tanner also had his arm tracked behind his back for the longest time, and all Tanner has to do is completely shove his weight down to get the finish. Now I know what you're thinking, Ben looks way too calm, well I'm going to let you know that because he got submitted once already, he's not going to be calm anymore. He goes for his famous fireman's carry, completely fails on the attempt, but then he rotates out towards a single leg against Tanner. Ben actually surprises me with his transitions because despite having his head way too low, he does start to stand back up and he keeps control over the ankle. Tanner's able to free it but he gives him his back and Ben goes for a quick suplex and finally gets a takedown on the college wrestler. But all the great things must come to an end as Tanner gets to the front head, then he takes the back and he puts Ben in a much worse position. But let's give Ben a little bit of glory for that nice takedown. Tanner looks to style on Ben by pulling the arm up and hitting a quick armbar but his butt is way too far away and he ends up losing the position and giving Ben half guard. Now most people from here want to look for an underhook so they can get a sweep, but Ben decides to go for the path of most resistance by going towards his belly and trying to hip over Tanner. I think anybody with a little bit of clarity would understand that sweep is never going to work. Instead it's going to give Tanner the famous wrestling ride with the reverse hook. Ben gets to double up on the pain by having his arms stretched behind his head. We can even see that he starts to yelp a little bit, but he decides not to tap, even though he has a competition coming up in just a few days. Now Ben is going to continue to suffer from this arm crank position, but we're going to ask my question of the day. And my question today is, what is the very first move that you learned in jujitsu? For me, it was the mounted armbar. Should have been the guillotine, but I want to hear from all of you what was the first move you experienced when you tried the sport. <laughs> now the great news for Ben is that he was finally able to get out from underneath Tanner and he's unleashing his rage on top. The bad news is, he gets immediately swept right after. <laughs> Most people would try and shrimp out of this bad position, but he actually wants to lock Tanner down. And you might be asking, why is Ben doing this? And the answer is simple. I have absolutely no idea. It's Basalt's Ben, so he decides to put himself in bad positions on purpose. And Tanner's been pretty jealous of that title, so he's trying to take Ben's back so he can submit him. If he can submit him twice in one round, he might be able to beat Basalt's Tanner, and then he can join the other members of the crew. Now without any joking around, Ben is actually doing a pretty good job defending all of these attacks. He again is getting put in that same armbar we saw earlier, but he continues to roll with Tanner. Of course Tanner maintains much better control and position over Ben, but even when he's transitioning to things like the rear naked choke, Ben is able to scoot his way out of these bad spots. Tanner goes for another armbar and this one's starting to look a bit tighter. Ben does go to his knees so he can start stacking some weight on top of Tanner, but Tanner continues to roll through till Ben does his secret defense which is kicking Tanner in the face. Now you would think it's a friendly roll here at the gym, but it's all about that intensity if you get to roll with Ben. And in Ben's mind, it was a success, because now Ben is on top and he's trying to shuck the legs by so he can get a nice pass. Tanner is very easily countering by readjusting his hips every time Ben goes to shuck because Ben doesn't have enough pressure against the hips. Despite being under all this immense pressure that Ben puts on you, Tanner continues to remain calm and he's flow rolling with Ben. Tanner even used an inverted triangle setup to get back on top of Ben. Ben is starting to get a little bit worn out here after being rode for so long by Tanner, and Tanner keeps good pressure on him while he's in all these wrestling rides. Now if you thought that arm crank didn't work before, of course you gotta try it again, and look how far extended that arm is towards Ben's left shoulder. You would think that a blue belt could finish this submission against Basalt's Ben, but unfortunately Tanner just isn't good enough to be able to do that twice in one round. Now I think what would really help Ben out is if he had some type of guard, or even guard retention for that matter because giving them your back does not seem to be working too well for him. 
I'm starting to think that Tanner has a personal vendetta against Ben because he's continuing to attack the same arms over and over and over. It must have been that kick in the face that really did him in, and he's looking for a final armbar to try and solidify this round. Ben channels all the hatred he has inside of him to keep this guard locked. As long as his hands can stay locked together, he won't have to tap out and he only has to survive a few more seconds. Tanner is able to finally break the grip, but the bell ends, proving that Ben had enough hatred to make it through. If you appreciate the video, please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and thanks for my current viewers and patrons.